Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Scrotely Experiments, where I will be showcasing the outcome of small builds I experiment with and from the depths. Designs that have no limits as well as little to no aesthetics, these are all about functionality, testing the boundaries of the game, and ideas that we can run with. So today we'll be checking out the Grandiose Mark I, a flying magnetic grenade launching platform. It's cheap, it's disposable, but most of all it packs a punch. So sit back, grab your drink, and relax while we take a look at what the Grandiose MK1 has to offer. On the ship itself, you will find a plethora of systems, from sexy helicopter blades to jet stabilizers which keep it real, thrusters for thrustering, and of course, hentai healing tentacles for those intense group battles. Naturally, we also have eight MK-1 magnetic grenade launchers with three-part ejector systems gracing the bottom of the ship. Pretty fantastic, if you ask me. Now, when flying solo and pitted against seaworthy foes, the grandiose Mark I brings to the table its only ability, magnetic grenades la launched from afar. Gaining height sees a further advantage, naturally, to the distances the Grandiose can reach, uh, which allows it to really maximize its firepower. And remember, the greatest thing about magnetic grenades is that their nature is really no laughing matter because once you miss, you still leave an active warhead, living the sweet dream of oceanic exploration, and of course the off chance that it may actually hit a target. Now in groups, the Grandiose Mark I truly shines, realizing the full capability of its hentai healing tentacles in groups. The healing prowess gained is quite impressive. Well, I mean, provided that they actually stay near each other, of course. That's like paramount. Large and impressively tough to take down targets such as the Moray buckled to the onslaught of so many grenades. I mean, how would it not? It's quite thrilling to watch, honestly, and even more thrilling when such a target falls to the sea's surface. Because that pretty much spells doom, as the magnetic warheads can really do their thing. You know, all, the, all those ones you're missing with, they're down there in the ocean just waiting waiting to get their sweet grip on. Capable of near continuous firing, the Grandiose Mark I has no issues with reloading or ammunition. The warheads employed are small and therefore efficient in their usage. Even when a Grandiose Mark I takes uh, incredibly unsustainable amounts of damage, as long as they're in a group, the other Grandiose Marks ones are there to hold it up, hold hands, and keep it healed. In large fleet battles against a myriad of smaller seaworthy ships, which we will see here soon, the Grandiose Mark I shines to its best ability, that of replacing air with grenades, such as you're seeing here. A beautiful little group of Grandiose Mark I's, chilling up in the air, doing their thing, against 20 to 30 Sea Vipers, you can see what the devastation looks like. It's awesome, it's so freaking awesome. All these little mines are just everywhere, floating in the sea, hitting their targets, and it just creates a deathbed of insanity for anybody who wishes to, to navigate these areas. Of course, last but not least is the fact that these grandiose Mark Ones just want to be your best friend. Looking adorable and cute up in the air, that's really what sets them apart from uh, any of the competition, I think. And hey, this, this has been a scrotely experiment. I just wanted to take a look at a little 30 minute build that I could whip together, and this was the outcome. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Take it easy. Till next time, stay classy.